Welcome to the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast, where you'll learn the secret sauce, what it really takes to build a thriving mortgage business doing what you love, without relying on cold calling or annoying realtors. And now, let's join your host, Doran Aldana. Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here, coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about the top five BS lies most mortgage pros believe that keep them stuck on the struggle bus, working longer and harder for less, and how to avoid it, how to get yourself in a place where you're in flow, fulfillment, earning more, working less. That's what we're going to talk about today is how you get in your own way or how most mortgage pros get in their own way when it comes to breaking free from the struggle bus and getting into that next level of income, that next level of being able to do what you want, when, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want, in that freedom, flow, and fulfillment. And frankly, the reason why I cover these topics in my live Facebook Lives and my podcast is because I see this on the front lines every single week. I'm talking with mortgage pros, and I'm seeing these BS lies being planted in their minds, either by their company owner, by their colleagues, by their sales manager, by society. And these lies, when they take root and they bear their bitter fruit, they steal opportunity. They steal you know, opportunities to be able to put more zeros and commas in their bank account, opportunities to attract more solid partners, opportunities to be able to get those deals that are being left to their competitors and put them in their bank account with zeros and commas where it belongs. And so you know, I want to make sure we shine light on this for you guys so that you're in a place of awareness. You have the light of awareness shining on these BS lies that hold so many mortgage professionals back, so many beautiful human beings with so many gifts, talents, and abilities to bring value to the marketplace. But because they don't have their mindset aligned with truth that allows them to be set free, they remain on the struggle bus in shackles doing it the hard way, working longer and harder than they should for a whole lot less. So let's break these down, shall we? It will take years to get to my income goals. Perhaps you can relate to that because frankly, we hear this all the time from mortgage pros where it's like, yeah, I heard that you know all my colleagues or my sales manager or the company owner, he told me it's gonna take me like two years before I make any decent income. They're expecting to make no money, busting their ass, doing it the hard way. And when you have that expectation, what happens is now you start to live into the expectation because if you expect it to be a long, slow grind up the mountain, guess what? It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. But the truth is, the only reason why it's a long, slow grind up the mountain is because they're doing it the freaking hard way and they just don't know any better. So these well-meaning, well-intended colleagues or friends or you know business partners or managers or company owners, they mean well, but they're actually causing you a great disservice because they're planting a seed of expectation that has you thinking it's normal and expected to do it the hard way. Now, does that mean that you don't have to bring, bring grit and resourcefulness and hustle and work ethic? Hell freaking no. Of course, you've got to bring that. If you want to get the 747 off the runway, obviously, you've got to go full throttle, full tilt in it to win it to be able to supersede the law of gravity and to enact the law of lift so you can get the 747 off the, uh, the tarmac and into the jet stream and into your dream. So we know it's going to take work. That's a given. The question is, should it be taking 12, 24 months or more to be able to get to your income goals? Well, unless your income goal is to make a million dollars plus per year, I would submit to you, the answer is no. It doesn't have to take that long. If you have the right plan, the right system, with the right amount of leverage and the right amount of automation and the words that work that gets uh, marketing efforts to be full, we can get you hitting income goals in three, six, nine months, not years, not decades. It's all about condensing decades into days. That's a big reason why mortgage professionals hire us because they're sick and tired of doing it the hard way. They're sick and tired of banging their head against the wall, spinning their wheels and not getting to their income goals. I was just talking with a gentleman just uh, a few moments ago and he's been in the business for a little while and he got to four deals a month 
And then he reached out for help to try and get his business to that next level. And I talked to him a month later and now he's at three deals a month and he's got his pipeline with two deals a month. And yet he lives in this delusional optimism land that he's making progress, that he's growing organically. But in truth, he's actually going backwards. And one of the reasons for that is because his sales manager says it's going to take a long time to get to your income goals. It's going to be a while. So you've got to be patient. you got to be in it for the long term. You know, slow and steady wins the race. All these BS ideas start to take root and bear fruit. Next thing you know, you're doing it the hard way and you're expecting it to be hard and you're expecting it to be the slow grind. So I'm not saying that you don't bring work ethic. I'm not saying you don't bring your absolute best to the table. I'm not saying you're not, you know, bringing inspiration and perspiration to the table. What I am saying is if you want to build the skyscraper of your dream and you want to build a hundred stories into the sky, you've got to build a deep foundation. But if you're building that foundation with a gardening trowel, we've got a freaking problem. That's doing it the hard way. There's something called an excavator. It's a whole lot more fruitful and a whole lot more fulfilling than using the gardening trowel. It's got something called leverage, more results, less effort. And I submit to you, that's the way to do it because there's no brownie points in the bank for doing it the hard way. You guys know it, I know it. So that's the first BS lie that we wanna overcome and impeach from the garden of your mind, that it's gonna take years and years to get your income goals. That is pure, unadulterated BS. And I'm here to declare it emphatically and unabashedly. The second one, the second BS lie that causes most mortgage pros to stay on the struggle bus longer than they should is this. If what I'm doing is not working, doing more of it will fix the problem, right? Because I mean, again, I talked to this gentleman today and he's doing cold calling realtors. He's throwing yoga to the fan, hoping something sticks. He's going to networking events and his pipeline is going down. And yet his solution to that is to keep doing it the way he's doing it. It's like the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So he's living in hope prison, hoping that eventually all this blood, sweat, and tears he's putting in with fruitless toil is eventually going to crack the code and the avalanche of awesome is going to unleash. But, you know, hope is great if you're in prison, but it doesn't make for a very good marketing plan, does it? That's why we here on Planet Prosper, we say we don't smoke the hope dope. We don't want you hoping. We want you knowing. So living into this lie, and it is indeed a lie, that doing more of what's already clearly not working and doing more of it obviously is not going to fix the problem. If it did, someone who's been in the business for a year or two or three doing it the hard way and having that be the equation of, okay, I'm going to do it the hard way and eventually it's going to work out. That's kind of like someone who, again, is trying to build the foundation for their skyscraper with the gardening trowel, thinking it's going to get easier the more I dig in the gardening trowel, getting beat by the hot sun, you know, sweating my balls off, doing it the hard way. Obviously, that would never happen because if you're doing it the hard way, it's going to continue to be hard. But as Albert Einstein once said, you can't solve the problem with the same mind that created it. And when you soften the problem by saying, hey, I'm going to defy the law of physics. I'm going to defy the law of cause and effect. I've already tested it this way. It's clearly not working, but somehow through some miraculous, you know, eureka avalanche of awesome, what has never worked is obviously going to start working just because of sheer luck or happenstance or hope. Again, hope is great if you're in prison, but it doesn't make for a good marketing plan. We don't want to just hope that it's going to pan out. So again, it's accurate thinking. It's bringing intelligent, accurate thinking to the table and realizing that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And so that's a big reason why mortgage pros hire us is because they're sick and tired of banging their head against the wall, spinning their wheels, throwing yogurt to the fan, hoping something sticks, and hoping that eventually the thing that's already proven itself not to work will eventually work. If what you've been doing for the last six months, 12 months, 24 months, or years is not getting you to your income goal, doing more of it clearly is not going to get you there any more 
then you building that 100 story staircase or 100 story skyscraper with a gardening trowel is going to eventually become a pleasant, powerful, fulfilling process while you're being beat down by the sun. We already know that. That's called accurate thinking. That's called exercising our intelligence, friends. And the clients we work with, they don't want to take 5, 10, 15, 20 years to get to their income goal. They want to condense decades into days. They want to condense time frames, And they realize it's going to be a whole lot more expensive to learn from their own mistakes than to learn from an expert, which is why they hire us for our battle-tested proven systems and campaigns and words that work that get them and you know, being able to book appointments with top producing agents like a hot knife through butter, to be able to have that kick-ass value proposition, to be able to have that hook that makes them irreplaceable and indispensable, to be able to flip the script so that the realtor needs them more than they need the realtor. That's what I call working smart, not just working hard. So that's that BS lie. Now here's the third BS lie we want to impeach. And that is, I need to be able to deliver five-star service before I can take the bricks off. So this is not just for the newbie, although it is more pre prevalent for the newbie, but even veterans, sometimes they have operational bottlenecks. Maybe the processor is, you know, completely just not reliable and you're having to babysit the processor, or maybe there's something broken in operations where you have a bottleneck and all of a sudden you start seeing the upper edges of, you know, the capacity of what you can do before the wheels start to fall off the bus and you start to get concerned about, am I gonna be able to maintain my five-star reputation? Am I gonna be able to maintain my five-star service? All of a sudden the brakes start to urge on because you're concerned if you do more business, the wheels are gonna fall off the bus and your reputation is on the line. You don't want your reputation to be hard, uh, tarnished, so you put the brakes on. Now, if you wanna get your 747 off the runway and into the jet stream and into your dream, you got to go full throttle. You can't afford to put the brakes on. And the same thing happens with newbies, right? They think, oh, I got to learn more about loans. I got to learn more about the loan programs. I got to learn more about this. I got to learn more about this. I'm not competent enough. I'm not confident enough. So I'm going to put the brakes on and hold back on prospecting until I figure out all the nuances and idiosyncrasies and all the distinctions and I'm crossing T's and I'm dotting I's and I'm figuring everything else out first before I go out there and go full throttle with prospecting. The problem with that is you're gonna get chewed up and spat out and not be able to keep the lights on if you do that for many months in a row because the bills keep coming in. They don't give a rat's ass about whether or not you have enough competence or confidence in knowing you know, how to find a home for a, a loan or you know, what lender does which. All they care about is you paying that bill. So one of the things that we know to be true coaching mortgage pros to success for 16 years is that if you have the brakes on the chance of you getting off the tarmac and into the jet stream and into your into your dream is slim to none you know it and i know it because again if you want to get off the, the tarmac you can't be you can't afford to be pressing on the brakes we got to go full throttle in it to win it right so that's where you need to understand if you're a newbie, the fastest way to get you to your income goals is to go full throttle with prospecting and you're going to learn on every application. You win on every application. You either learn or you earn. You either convert that deal or you learn something new that allows you to build more muscle, more mastery, more distinction. And that allows you now to have more competence and confidence and you're earning while you're learning instead of being like that 500 horsepower Ferrari stuck in the parking lot with the emergency brake on, stuck in first gear, half throttle, just idling, going nowhere because you're so concerned about blundering it that you don't do anything. The key to accelerating your speed to success is to keep going full throttle with prospecting. And the same thing if you're a veteran. If you're a veteran, the fastest way to solve your operational problems is to continue to put proactive pressure on that bottleneck by continuing to prospect so that now you have a blowtorch under your ass to get out there and do whatever it takes to break that bottleneck, to find a way to increase your capacity, to find a way to expand your capacity so you can continue to handle more business. But if you contract 
and you say, I'm not going to take on any more business until I fix this operational problem. What happens is with rare exception. Now, there are some operational constraints that you have no control over if you're in a corporate environment and you have no control over fixing. Well, that's different. That's when you may, might want to consider jumping to a new company where you can have more control over operations or at least have more control by virtue of having really competent people in operations so that we can remove those bottlenecks. So I'm not saying that those, some of those are not real constraints. If they're real constraints that you don't have control over, you may consider moving to a new company so you don't have to worry about having an inept processor, for example, who keeps fumbling deals and punches out at four o'clock in the afternoon and doesn't give a rat's ass about your loan because they're just punching a clock on a salary and you know they don't really have anything vested in you getting your loan closed like you do. So there are very strategic, intelligent reasons to be jumping ship to a new company who can help you with those operational bottlenecks and liberate you from being bottleneck in your operations. However, in many cases, people put the brakes on because they're just afraid that they're working too much. They're afraid that they're sacrificing time away from their family. They're afraid that they're working too much, too long. They start to hit that upper you know, glass ceiling, if you will, of their, their comfort zone. And what that does is it actually kills your growth. That's the beginning of the end of growth. That's when you start to stagnate. And the badass rock star mortgage professionals I work with in my elite level coaching, like Champions Club and Seven Figure Lender Academy, especially, we've trained them to develop a habit to be comfortable being uncomfortable and to use that what we call positive pressure to expand into the challenge, to lean into the challenge and use that as impetus as what we call positive perturbance or positive pressure to find a way to expand capacity and get resourceful to expand capacity because as you know, necessity breeds invention. So when you continue to prospect and you continue to feed your pipeline, it puts that intense pressure like a blowtorch under your ass to get out there and find a way to solve the problem instead of shrinking back into your comfort zone and settling into stagnation, which usually leads to not just stagnation, but regression, and you end up going backwards. And stagnation tends to breed rot. You don't want to be one of them. Stagnation tends to breed a symptom of you being in the same old spot, doing the same old thing, getting the same old results, which usually is not a happy place to be. We as human beings are most happy when we're growing, we're expanding, we're stepping into the best version of ourselves. We're up and to the right. We're in, we're in growth mode. When we're making progress, that's when we're most delighted and excited and fulfilled. True or not true. So we want to continue to press into growth mode. And there is no growth without, without having growth within. All growth without is preceded by growth within. Growing your mindset. Growing your champion level identity. Growing your ability to be comfortable being uncomfortable, growing your resourcefulness muscle, your grit muscle, growing your ability to be decisive and coachable and committed. All those are muscles you need to conquer those mountains. And we want you conquering new mountains, not just sliding down old ones, right? So that's the third lie that we want to impeach from your garden is that you're going to, you know, tarnish your reputation if you continue to expand. So you need to put the brakes on to make sure you have whatever operational concerns are there for you solved. And then and only then will you continue to push on the throttle. That's a great way to go into stagnation, regression. And that's a great way to breed rot in your heart, in your mind, and your spirit, where you just spin your wheels in stagnation prison, doing the same old thing, getting the same old results. That's not how champions roll. Champions are all about growth and expansion. And something tells me that's your happy place too. So let's dive into the fourth BS lie that causes so many mortgage professionals to stay stuck on the struggle bus. And that is, I need to be quote unquote realistic about my goals. Sound familiar? Oh, Dorn, I need to be realistic. I'm not gonna set big goals, lofty goals. I need to be realistic. I don't wanna you know, have these lofty goals only to just, just disappoint myself and fall short. 
Sound familiar? So this is a very common way of thinking. We get it from our parents, right? Be realistic, be realistic. We get it from our teachers, be realistic. We get it from our managers. You need to set realistic goals, right? And so it seems smart, but the truth is the fastest way to having a mediocre life and a mediocre business is to be realistic. Because the truth is, if you want to have a magical life, an abundant life, if you want to create your best life with freedom, flow, and fulfillment, none of that has anything to do with being freaking realistic. It has to do with you knowing what you want, having clarity of how you want it, the income you want, the lifestyle you want, the freedom you want, the rhythm of life, the schedule you want, the kind of partners you want, the kind of clientele you want. And then deciding that number one, you can have it the way you want it if you don't sell. And number two, that you will find a way to create that and make it manifest in your life. In other words, defiantly committed to creating your best life, defiantly committed to living your dream life because you're freaking committed to it and you're not willing to settle for anything less. That is not being realistic. That's called defying realism because if you are being realistic, then you're letting your past and your current results dictate what's possible or probable for you. Now, if you've never made half a million a year, then you're never going to think that making half a million, uh, half a million is realistic because you're looking at your past and you're looking at your current results to dictate what's possible for the future. Well, the truth is your current results and your past results are just a cause and effect blueprint printout of your past thinking, your past feeling, your past acting, and the past results. But that has nothing to do with what's possible in the future if you start thinking differently, if you start feeling differently. So being realistic actually puts an anchor on your vision. It puts an anchor. It puts a blinder on what you see as possible for yourself because you're blinded by your past, you're blinded by your current circumstances, and you're letting your past and your current circumstances cloud your vision. So the surest way to have a mediocre life is to be realistic. You want to create a magical life, an abundant life, a beautiful life, a life of freedom, flow, and fulfillment. You got to stop being realistic and start realizing that you can have it any way you want it if you don't settle. But Dorn, does that mean I can make a million dollars a year making only working 25 hours a week? Hell freaking yeah. But obviously you're going to need next level skill, next level leadership, next level marketing, next level automation, next level systems, next level lead generation, next level lead conversion, next level delegation. So obviously it's going to be a bigger, better version of yourself that's going to need to show up. And that's a growth process. You don't go in the gym from being frumpy and out of shape to pushing the 300 pound dumbbells around. That's just not going to happen. You have to grow into that day by day. It doesn't happen in a day. It happens daily, building muscle daily. And obviously, if you want to get to next level growth and you want to be able to do it in shorter time frames, condensing dec decades into days, then the key is to learn other people's success formulas learn other people's success recipe. So instead of having to reinvent the wheel, doing it the hard way and taking decades to get there on the slow grind up the mountain, you can get there in literally a year or two. This is a big reason why people hire us at mortgagemarketingcoach.com because we have the elite of the elite training, coaching, and systems to help mortgage pros do exactly that inside of our Seven Figure Lender Academy, where we teach them the shortest path to the cash without messing around doing it the hard way. We teach them how to get to seven figures in a way that's more elegant, more simple, more fulfilling without sacrificing their sanity, their freedom and their family or their fitness to be able to have it all, to have a great family life, a great sense of vitality and health and well-being spiritually and physically, and have a great thriving business that continues to grow up and to the right without having to step on all those unnecessary landmines where you know, you're know you banging your head against the wall thinking, frick, is this even worth it? All this time, energy, and effort, all these magic moments with my family being sacrificed, and for what, right? Life is too short for that.
Life is too short to be sacrificing your health, your sanity, quality time with your family, to be miserable, out of shape, overweight, stressed out, losing sleep, and being up the, on the up and down yo, yo-yo roller coaster ride from hell where it's like up one month, down the next, up one month, down the next. If I make a bunch of money, then people are going to look down their nose at me and I'm going to be judged. I'm going to be criticized because usually those people judge other people that are rich and they say, ah, that person's dirty rich. You know, that guy's a scum bucket. He must, he's a shyster. That's how he made all that money. And so you look at other people who are rich and you criticize them. And now you're criticizing the very thing you want, because if you want to make a massive difference in the world, then you deserve to have money unless you're Mother Teresa, but even still Mother Teresa made a ton of money for her nonprofit organization. So even she had a bunch of money, she just directed it to making a bigger impact. So there's nothing wrong about with having a bunch of money. That means you're making a meaningful difference in the world. That means you're bringing value to the world. But if you equate money to being you know, greedy, or you equate money to, you must be a shyster, you must be a, you know, lying, stealing, cheating, uh, you must be someone doing harm to others. If you have a bunch of money, you're never going to have money because you're going to step, step into the very thing you've been criticizing. And your subconscious mind will not let you do that. Your subconscious mind is going to try and keep you from that pain which is why so many people stay broke because they think having a bunch of money is greedy. They don't want to be greedy. So their subconscious mind goes, okay, if you don't want to be greedy, we're going to make sure we, you don't have any money. So now you're going to be broke as a joke instead of helping a bunch of people and serving a bunch of people, making a massive impact in the world. And you are in struggle. You're in bondage. How are you going to help other people be liberated when you're in bondage? That just doesn't jive, right? In order to liberate others, we first must liberate ourselves. And so that's what the beautiful thing about you stepping into the best version of yourself and kicking ass and taking names and chewing bubble gum and crushing it and making more money in one month used to make in three, four, five, six, 12 months is because now you have more to give. You see, money is just a magnifier. If you're a greedy and angry and stingy person, money's just going to make you more greedy, more angry, more stingy. But if you're generous, if you're kind, if you're loving, money will make you more generous, more kind, more loving. It's just a magnifier of who you already are. So now that you're stepping into and embracing this identity as someone who can have a bunch of money and make a massive difference in the world, notice the expansive feeling of that. Doesn't it feel expansive? Because now you're outside of this bondage BS lie weed in your garden that says that you can't have money because that's going to be greedy. And that is a BS lie that will keep you bound. It'll keep you stuck and it'll keep you being a fraction of who you could be, a fraction of who you know in your heart you're capable of being and a fraction of who you know in your heart God called you to be. So I invite you to just impeach each and every one of these lies, these BS lies that I've highlighted today impeach them from the garden of your mind and embrace the truth, the truth that I've shared with you today, the truth that you can have it any way you want it if you don't settle, the truth that you can get your income goals a whole lot fa faster and easier than you ever thought possible if you're strategic and if you have the right mentorship and the right support and the right structure and the right systems, the truth that you can start working more intelligently and create an avalanche of awesome and create a massive breakthrough in your business by doing something proven that works when you work it to create new results, to do something new so you can get new results, not doing the same thing over and over and over again and getting the same old results, but doing something new, doing something fresh, doing something proven that gets you proven results and that unlocks and unleashes an avalanche of awesome. And to stop being realistic, to step into lavish expectation, Step into opulent abundance. Step into having you be a shining star in this industry, being a top producer, being a leader of influence, being on the stages of life versus on the sidelines in obscurity, being on the stage where you can have impact and influence and to inspire others to do the same. So if you're listening to this right now, you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're putting down. 
I definitely have had some of those weeds in my garden. I have officially impeached them from the garden of my mind. I'm ready to embrace those new truths you've shared with me today so that they can take root and bear fruit and set me free. And yet right now, Dorn, I feel like there's some things missing. I don't have the structure. I don't have the systems. I don't have the support. I don't have proper mentorship. They mean well, but they're just getting me doing it. The old school caveman method from the dark ages, cold calling the same 40 freaking realtor Monday or going to network events. It's just like, man, this is old school. I need some something fresh and something innovative. I need something that's going to unlock my full potential. And clearly what I've been doing is not been working at the level I needed to. I need something that allows me to tap my full potential while working smart, not just working hard. And I'm ready to create my breakthrough now, not someday. If that's you, you're on 100% commission as a residential mortgage professional. You eat what you kill with no safety net. You're making 80 basis points or higher. And you want to increase your income by at least $100,000 or more while working smarter, not harder. And you want to be able to take your business to the next level without sacrificing your health, your family, or your sanity. And you want to be able to do it in a way where you hold the cookie where we're flipping the script so that the realtor needs you more than you need them with a solid foundation in the purchase market where you can pick and choose the partners you want to work with, where you can start to strategically attract top producing realtors and start booking appointments with these top producing agents like a hot knife through butter without the hell of cold calling. And you want to be able to flip the script so that instead of them interviewing you, you're interviewing them. So you're in the power position. You hold the cookie. If that's you, and you wanna be able to take the shortest path to the cash to your income goals, working smarter, not harder, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where we'll lift up the hood in your business and we'll look at what's working, what's not working. Where are you at now in your business? Where do you wanna take it? And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like. And if not, frankly, we'll be the very first to advise you to pass on our services. Perhaps look at something else or someone else. Either way, though, you will leave this call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun along the way. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, which it definitely should, I invite you to book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. This is not a sales call. It's a discovery call. If we need to sell you on you making more money in one month, you used to make in six months, making freedom money, you're not ready for freedom money. So we're not here to sell you anything. We're here to change your life if you're committed. So first step of the process is to book a call. Let's see what we can do for you. Mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. We're going to have an honest, real talk conversation. Just a genuine, honest, real talk conversation about where you're at, where you want to be, and what it's really going to take to take your business to that next level. This is Dora Aldana coming at you from Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. I trust you got value from this today. Make sure you impeach these BS lies from the garden of your mind. Replace those lies with the truth because the truth will indeed set you free. But first, it's probably going to piss you right off. That's cool, too. It's called tough love, baby. Whatever it takes to get you set free, we are here in it to win it in your corner on your team. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you on the next episode. Be blessed, y'all. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace.